What's up guys? This is Hailey and Mum and today in Subnautica Below Zero I'm going to show you how to find the flowering spore which is used to make benzene as well as the young cotton anemone which is used to make hydrochloric acid which leads to polyaniline. So what we're going to do is start here at Delta Island which is to the south of your drop pod location and we are going to be going to the deep lily pads cave biome to find these items. So you will need a depth upgrade Mark II for your sea truck. And I also suggest bringing a beacon along to lay at the entrance just to make your way back. So from the Delta Station dock, I'm going to put myself one notch to the left of southeast on my compass. And I'm going to be traveling about 750 meters away from the Delta Station dock beacon to a depth of about 170 meters, which is basically staying close to the sea floor. You should see this architect cabling here on the ground and then you will see this large rock piece that is kind of broken up away and this is the access to the deep lily pads cave so if you check back you should be about 750 meters away from the dock beacon so what we're going to do is descend down now into here and it will go down to about 470 meters deep to the what i call central hub room of the deep lily pads cave biome And here we are. So as you can see, we've got flowering spores as well as little patches of young cotton anemones. So we're gonna hop out here. And this is just in the hub room. You can follow through and go into the other further rooms, which is why I suggest laying a beacon here to be able to find your way back. But I'm just gonna grab some right here. Flowering spore, which gives us the benzene. And we've got the cotton anemones right here. There we are. So you can get as much as you need here, guys, and it's pretty easy and simple. I hope that helped anybody who was looking for these items. As always, be kind, stay legendary, and may the Triforce always be with you. Hylian Mum out.